Okay, for the right hand side. So we're gonna be working on this side. Holds all the, the main compartments. So for this flap here, I'm gonna start with this first. I'm gonna cut a piece of heavyweight cardstock. And this is pretty heavy. If you want to, you could use a thin piece of chipboard if you'd like. So I'm gonna cut this down to three and seven eighths. Yeah, three and seven eighths by, let's see, five and a half plus a quarter, or plus an eighth, plus um, a half. So I'm gonna grab my trimmer. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is not my trimmer. So three and seven eighths first. Let's see if I've got that, I do. Three and seven eighths. And then I'm gonna cut it to, let's say, five and a half plus an eighth plus a half, probably about six and eight or six inches would be good. I'm gonna grab my scoreboard. I'm gonna score this at uh, five and a half. Score it at an eight, uh, eighth of an inch. So at least me about a half inch there, okay? So that's what you're gonna do. So once again, it's gonna be scored at five inches five and a half inches, and then um, five and five eighths. I'm just gonna go ahead and get that ready, okay? So, I'm gonna grab my trimmer and my paper, and I'm gonna cover the front and back of it. Um, I'm gonna do this. This is gonna be your most showy piece. So I'm probably going to see if I can get some of this on here, maybe that, for the front cover. So just keep that in mind when you're cutting, you want whatever is going to be seen, this is going to be what's going to be right here. So you want to make it right here, it's going to be, you want to make it um, your kind of primo, primo piece there. This thing keeps coming out, it's making me mad. Okay, let's see how close I can get with that. So. And now I want this to be at least probably three and three quarters. I'm gonna take off some of that over there. I'm gonna try to get that lined up a little bit. Okay. Okay, so then I want it to be, oh, I'm going to take this in because I like that piece. Plus, I have to remember that, that it's going to have a flap on it, too. don't want to cover up too much of my butterfly. So I'm going to make it five and a half inches. Okay. So that'll be my front. You know what? I'm, not, I'm going to make it a little bit less than five and a half. Let's say five and three eighths. Okay. That'll cover my front. Let's see if it does, yeah. Covers it with a little border around it. And then for the back, I'm just gonna use the back of this paper. So once again, I know it's three and three, uh, three and seven eighths, so I'm gonna get three and three quarters by five and three eighths. And I'll go ahead and cover these on here. I'm going to do my edges real quick. Sorry, y'all. I'm probably off camera. I apologize. Okay, those are ready to go. And then I'm going to run these through the Xyron. Ooh, man, 
Yes, yes, got a miss. <clears throat> Go around the edges real quick. Let's move on folder. I'm ready to glue them on. Kind of leaving a border around it, except for the top. It doesn't really matter about the top because you're going to cut the cut the corners. Okay, and then I'm going to grab. Um, this time I'm using a half inch round. Um, you don't have to. You can just leave it straight if you'd like. Um, I just am using half inch, and I don't know why I may not, because if I can't find it up here on my desk, here it is. I broke it. I almost bought another one this weekend, but I didn't. I almost should have. So I'm going to put this in here and just kind of eyeball it, because it broke off the edge. Dropped on the floor and broke it. Just like that. Okay, just round it over the, the corners there. And then I'm going to go for... The um, put a piece of tape. That's what I'm gonna do? On the inside. Okay. Okay, so that piece is ready. So you're just kind of building the layers. Okay, the next piece, I'm going to just set that aside. So the next piece is going to be um, for the credit card holders. We're going to go for this piece here, like that, okay? And I'm going to need my punch here in a second. So a piece of paper. Let's use, let's use the red. And for this one, you guys, I think I need to measure. I can't remember. I think I made it a little bit shorter, so let's just make it a little bit shorter. So probably about five, instead of five and a half, let's do five and three eighths um, by eight and a half. Grab my scoreboard and I am going to score it at two inches. Um, here it is, two inches. Sorry, can y'all see that? Two inches and then five and seven eighths. Okay? So two inches and five and seven eighths. So this will be the pocket. Okay? And then I am going to grab my measuring stick and we'll make room for our holes. So I want to come in a quarter of an inch. I'll just fold these up. I want to come in a quarter of an inch and then I want to do it at two and four inches. So quarter of an inch, let's say right there. Quarter inch in, and I can't see y'all, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna mark it at two inches. And then mark it again at four inches. I'm gonna come across this side. Sorry, everybody. Hello. Okay, where is it? Quarter inch right there. I wish I could see. <laughs> Makes a big difference, doesn't it? I wanna mark it at two inches. And I wanna mark it at four inches. Okay, and then I'm going to grab um, my uh, punch, which is right over here. Let me grab it real quick. I'm just using um, the, this is called the Big Bite. And I'm going to punch right on those pin marks with um, 3 16 
And once again, I wish I could see. I just need to get up and get my glasses, what I need to do. On each side. Okay, put that up, and then I'm going to get a steel edge ruler, and go from one point to the next point. This has got a bead in it. I really do need to get my glasses. So y'all, I'll be back. I'm going to grab my glasses. Sorry. Okay, glasses have been put on the face. Yay for glasses. So I'm going to try to go from one point to the next point by lining up my ruler with the holes, the top of the holes, and coming down with my knife and cutting it. Okay. I'm going to do that on each side and have a little slit in there. So for your um, credit card and your... Um, driver's license. And for the life of me, I never get this perfect. But hence me being so quiet. It's either always cattywampus or a little off, but that's, that's good enough. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my um, marker and uh, ink the edges. Because this is done, all we have to do is glue it up now. Just get rid of that white core. I'm gonna do this from the inside because it's uh, so much easier to do on the inside so you won't get it all messed up on the outside. Okay, so there it is. And now I'm gonna grab um, some tape and some glue to get this put together. I'm gonna tape the longer side. You see one side shorter, this one's longer. This is gonna overlap. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna add uh, some tape to this side. Add some quarter to the other side. Just make it a little bit thicker. So I use three eighths, and then I'm using um, stacking a quarter inch on top of it. And there's something on it. And then I'm going to glue. I'm going to use actually, yes. I'm actually, I might do both. I'm going to go against my rules and I'm going to add some eighth inch score tape. You know what? I don't have any on the table. Oh, still want a whole bunch of paper. No, here's some. Probably about two and a half inches down, maybe two and five eighths. Um, this is the top, by the way. This will be the bottom. So it's that way, or that way. So I'm gonna put this as a divider. And like I said, I'm going against my grain and I'm doing this with just tape, just on this one. But you could add wet glue here to make it really uh, better. But these cards are harder. Instead of paper, they're gonna be plastic and so it's a little bit harder and probably okay. And um, I'm just gonna go do it. I'm gonna do the whole thing. I'm just going to go against all rules and just do it. So I want to use um, that there and then one up here at the top to seal it. Okay. And then I'm going to grab this and start pulling these off. And that one off. And this one off. And this one off. This one off. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one down first. 
the shorter side down here. Kind of lock that in place, bring this one over and kind of lock it in place. Give it a good burnishing with my bone folder. Okay, so that's that piece. And then I'm gonna take my, um, I guess, half inch again. Or I'm gonna do quarter inch this time on this one. I know this is the top, so I'm gonna put that up here. And so it just kind of finishes that off, right? Use my black marker just on those corners. Actually, I could do the whole thing, does it matter? Bottom I'm already done. Okay. Okay, so that's the second one. So that'll go onto this. So I'm going to pull this strip off this first page here, my front cover page. And I'm going to do this this way, um, like that, and kind of line it up and put it on in that next to that score line and lay it down. And there's that. So it'll open up like that. And then I'm going to start on my back pocket. Um, once again, I need something for the flap. And I should be able to use something I've got here. Let's think. Let me use... No, I don't like that. What do I have on the table? I'm making the envelope top is what I'm um, stressing over right now. I'm not really stressing, but I'm just trying to find the right thing. That would be cool this way. Maybe it's exactly three inches. Three and five eighths. Nope. Can't use that. I'm just trying to use up what I've got cut already. Well, you know what? I just don't see anything I like. I can use the red. I don't know. I just don't like that. I really love the bees. I'm going in for some more. This would be great. I don't know, I kind of like the, kind of like the black. I think I'll do the black. So I'm gonna do this once again, this is gonna be for the flap. I may use that for the inside of the pocket. So, I mean the, uh, yeah, the expanding pocket. So first thing I want is I'm gonna see if I can trim this up and make it a little bit neater so I can maybe use some more of it. Throw that away. And then I want my, I'm gonna do three inches for my flap, envelope flap. So that aside, I'll use that in a second. And three inches here. I really like this crow. I want to try to capture the crow. And then um, three and five eighths. Okay. So I am going to score. Yep. Three and seven eighths. I'm sorry, I lied. Three and seven eighths. I'm so afraid that half this isn't going to be filmed because I'm off over here. Sorry about that, y'all. I hope it's okay. We'll find out when I go to edit this very long tutorial. So once again, um, on this one, I'm gonna do it at, um, I, I don't know if that's bad to do it this way. This is gonna be my end. I'm gonna do it at one inch, and I'm gonna come down at one and a quarter. This is gonna be a little bit shorter than the other side, because the other one we, we did one, and then one and eight, um, and then an eighth. But this one we're gonna do a quarter. Okay, I'm going to grab my, my scallop and do this edge and that edge because it's going to be the bottom of my uh, envelope flap. And then I'm going to fold it and fold it again. And I'm going to add tape to the back side. Right. 
then I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the book, um, which is buried over here. Once again, kind of center it here. Um, if my head's in the way because I'm looking, I apologize in advance. Just kind of on the center, about an eighth of an inch away from each side. Okay, so it's going to be like that. Okay. So then um, I'm going to build my um, back pocket piece, and then we're done. I think y'all know how to put the hardware on. So I'm not going to worry about that. This, this is good. I have this extra piece from the piece I cut off. So I'm going to do it at 3 and 7 eighths. If that's 3 and 7 eighths, it is by 5 and a half. This one's going to be a little bit longer, so 5 and a half to match the front cover. And then, let's see if I can get up here to it. I'm going to use any scrap paper on my desk. This looks like an accordion fold. That'd be great for accordion fold. Grab that. I need to cover them, but, um, and those, we'll just, let's make them four and a half inches or five. Let's just do five or close to that, wherever I'm at right there. So I can use this up by two. So around five by two, you want two of those. These are going to be the sides. And then I'm going to make this one um, go the other way. I want a one inch piece. It's going to be for the bottom. I'll show you in a second. It'll make sense. Um, by three and seven eighths. No, three and three quarters. Sorry. Uh, three three quarters is going to be shorter because it's going to go in between here. I'll show you in a second what I'm talking about. So it'll make sense. And then I'm going to not keep this too far. I'm going to make my, um, cover this piece. This is going to be this piece, y'all. We're working on here, this envelope. So I'm going to cover that front and back. And then we'll be able to put it all together. So I'm going to use this. And it's going to be... Um, about eighth inch smaller. So if it was three and seven, let's do it three and three quarters. I would love to keep the bottle in there somehow by five and three eighths. Okay. So that's one piece. I'm just going to go ahead and do the black out of that because you're not going to see it. The inside of the, of the piece, you're not really going to see it. So I'm going to just do the same thing. Let me see where I'm at. Um, three and three quarters by five and three eighths. Oops. And my pen. Oops, wrong side. I like the ink on the opposite side, and sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Because if you're going too fast, you can go, oh, down like that. You know what I mean? And it, you ruin your picture. So do it from the opposite side, if you like to ink your edges. Sometimes I distress if I'm doing that kind of a look. Sometimes if I want it clean and nice, I just use the pen. Just to cover the white core on the edges of the paper. So that's done. Run these through the Xyron. them with my bone folder. Okay. And then I'm going to cut 
cover my piece. I'm gonna make this my front. Off, it's okay. And then it's gonna be my back. Maybe the front, I don't know. Whichever one looks better when it's lined up and stuck down with a border on it, not this way. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scallop my edge. I'm not scallop, actually I'm going to use the half inch again. I go from back from the outside um, edges are half inch, the inside um, booklet is quarter inch, and I don't know why I did that, so you can do whatever you want. Or um, scallop. Okay, so there's my edges. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get these ready. So that's going to be my back uh, accordion pocket uh, my front accordion pocket piece in the back. Wrong thing. Wrong tool. And so I want to get uh, four score marks, or three, four, three or four. So uh, one at half inch, one at uh, one inch, three of them then, and then one and a half. So you want four folds, so three score marks. So again, half inch, one inch and one and a half inches. And then this little piece, I want to score it down uh, the middle at a half inch. Okay? And then I'm going to do the edges again. And then I'm going to go ahead and accordion these. So down, up, down, and up. I'm going to try to get them lined up before you fold them down permanently. Okay. So I've got two of those, and then my little half inch fold right there. So this is a one inch piece uh, in half, scored in half. It's going to go at the bottom. And you'll see kind of what I'm going to do here in a second. I'm going to grab my tape. And once again, I'm using 3 eighths uh, from scrubadabadoo.com. I'm putting it down on each side of this because I want the decoration of the stripe to show. on each side. Again on this piece. And then um, this uh, on both sides of this, the little one inch piece. Okay, and we're ready to put these on. I'm going to start with my side pieces first. I'm going to pull up one side of this. I'm going to turn it around to the back. And what I want to do is I want to put, I want this design to show. So I'm going to start at the bottom, line it up with the edge. Go all the way down. There's one, and do the same thing on the other side. Start at the bottom and work up.
Okay? And now the bottom piece is, goes in between them. This is the little one inch piece that's been scored in half. Just put it right in between, toward the bottom. Okay, like that. So this is ready to go. So I'm going to take this strip, pull it up, just like we did the other uh, accordion passport pocket, and I'm going to put this down on top of it. Take this, put it under, pull this up, and fold this down. Okay, and then last I'm going to pull this up. If I can find my edge, there we go. So I'm ready to put it in my book. Put this in right at the bottom here. Let's see, line it kind of up with that and over there. Okay, put it down. Okay, cute. Okay, so that's my, my back pocket. Now I'm going to cut a piece that is contrasting. Let's see, I'm gonna do it on the, I'll do it on this. Um, for the inside, and then y'all, I think it's gonna be three, by three and five eighths. Let's make it four. Oh, let's make it as wide as this is, let's see. Let's make it, let's make it three. So three inches by three and five eighths. Three and seven eighths, sorry. Let me dash less. And then to score this, oh, it's in here. I score this at one and a half inches. So it's down the center. And again, I scallop all four edges, or all four corners. Ooh, I'm full. I need to dump this out. Okay, I may need to dump it sooner than I thought. What's going on? There we go. Oh, it's real full. Okay, so all four edges, all four corners, sorry. And then my pin, yeah. Go around the edges. This goes in um, to hold a couple bills if you have somebody to pay tips to. Um, just once again, with the idea of having everything all in one place. Not something that I'm going to pull out and use on my whole trip, just at the airport, so I have everything all together. Instead of having to pull out my wallet for some things and then have some other things. So fold that in half and then add tape or glue. Um, which I'm just, I have glue. Uh, there's some glue. To the edges. So in a U shape. If that's confusing, just fold it over on one side. Add some glue. No glue over there. Of course, I can't see it. Light now. And this is all stuck up again. Okay, where is my pen? Here. I love this glue. It's one of those love hate relationships. I love it. It's my favorite glue to use, but at the same time, I hate the way it gets clogged up. But it's just the way it is. But have a pen handy, and everything is okay. So I'm, I'm leaving the top open so I can stick the bills down in there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on here. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take my inside cover page. See, that doesn't matter now because it's going to be covered. And stick it here on that. Check everything up, line it up. Okay, 
and go back in and uh, put that in better. So I've got two places. This didn't stay, did it? Oh, the glue's not dry yet. Probably don't have enough. There we go. So I'm trying to make a pocket. So I'm going to let that sit for a second. And then talk to you all about um, hardware. So on this, I'm not going to show you how to do it, but I'm going to, I'm going to walk you through it. So on the uh, right hand side of the book, here we go. I used these, um, I don't know what they're called, I used to know the name of them, but recall for me is not a good thing. Um, uh, picture frame swingers is what, you know, I really like to call them, but they do have a really formal name. Um, so that goes that, that way, right, to hold it in place. And what you want to do is grab this, or any kind of closure, you could use Velcro. I just went with something that was metal because I love hardware and stuff. So I just found out where I wanted that to go, and I, and I put the, found the center of it with my ruler, right? and then shot a, a hole through it with my um, pick and then put a brad through the spinner and then just put it through there and then what I did over here is I just took um, a round one inch um, thing again and shot a, uh, a punched a, a hole I punched a circle and just covered up my brad legs okay and then the same thing over here did the same thing, found the center, put in the uh, in the hardware, and that's that, right? So that's how I did the hardware on the inside. The other side is going to be um, sticky back canvas, and I probably should show you that. I'm just going to do that real quick, but let's go back over here to that. See how this is looking? It's looking good, okay? So pocket for your money, and then for your tickets can go in here a little pocket for uh, uh, you know some bills or a note or pictures or whatever a place for your uh, credit card and your driver's license to go and then that would stay down that would stay down with your little spinners okay and so for the outside I'm gonna grab a couple of things uh, sticky back canvas and I'll be right back so hold on okay so I got my sticky back canvas and I'm gonna give it oh about I guess one and three quarters of an inch by six, so one and three quarters of an inch. And once again, I'll walk you through this part, or I'll show you this part, and then uh, y'all can figure out the rest. I know you can, so I'm gonna do it by six inches. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull off this backing, and um, I'm just gonna fold over, oh, about half inch to, to five eighths over and stick it to itself like that and then I'm going to pull it doesn't have to be perfect that's just the lovely thing about this and then I'll fold this piece over and on top of itself right to make my little strap so hold up really really well and then I'm going to take um, I think my quarter inch if I can get it to work and just uh, chomp the corners Okay, then I took this and I painted it with black, uh, pitch black distress paint from Tim Holtz. Let me show you here. And then I put glossy accents on the back side, the, the side with obviously the um, edge that's kind of buckled up where we folded it over. And did uh, just put some there, okay, and held it in place with glossy accents after I painted it. I took it around and I left a good gap here right here so if this expands they have a lot of stuff to put in there it'll expand with you okay and then I folded it over okay and then I added just a piece of velcro I had velcro square so I cut it in half to make a rectangle and then I just put it on one side first the set on one side both sides sticky so that side sucks to this this is now sticky I turned it over and put it on that and then pushed it in and stuck it together okay so this still will allow you to expand to just where you put it you know what i mean 
so it gives it a lot more room if you if you want to expand that much just by the this longer strip of velcro or i could make it a little bit tighter okay and that's that and then i just glued something on top of it for decoration so y'all that is the airport um traveling airport uh wallet i hope that's helpful and i hope you'll have a wonderful trip and bon voyage if you make this and if you don't make it for a trip I, just for something fun so i appreciate you hanging out with me and uh, uh i appreciate y'all thanks so much bye